Hello, Sandra Alex. My name is Sanders, and today I'm going to review the 1 to 144 real grade Wing Gundam 0 EW from Mobile Suit Gundam Wing and its Wolves. This Gundam Classic model, also known as Gunfa, was manufactured by Bandai Hobby to represent Mobile Suit Wing Gundam 0 EW from Mobile Suit Gundam Wing and its Wolves. The Wing Zero version EW possesses four angelic wings lined with many thrusters, which also contribute to the active mass balance auto control of Gundam in space. The two large main wings can double as a shield in combat and serve as a heat shield from the atmospheric reentry, while the smaller sub wings are mainly for propulsion and house of the beam sabers. The front of the box shows wonderful art of Mobile Suit Wing Gundam Zero EW. The side of the box shows the real grade number 17, information about the Mobile Suit Wing Gundam Zero EW, the highly possible RG inner frame that this kit features, as well the gimmick that this kit have. Upon opening the box, you will see other Zero Year mobile suits in different scales that Bandai produce. Inside the box, you will have the instruction manual and four packs of multicolor runners which allows you to build the mobile suit Wing Gundam Zero EW. Each runner are organized by a letter and a number so you can follow the instruction easily or if you ever need a replacement part of it. The sticker that RG Wing Zero EW has was the water slide decals. The runner A1 are molded on blue, white, and yellow parts. The runner B are the dark gray for RG frame. Multicolor parts on runner C, gray on runner D1, same gray on runner D2, white on E1, same white on E2, another same white on F, gray on G, and same gray on runner H. After my quick snap build with no sanding, no panel lining, you will have a very possible Wing Gundam Zero EW. The archer frame is somehow okay but not perfect. The wings were kinda tedious but the overall gateway was close to perfect as it hide all the knob marks. However, since this is a 1 to 1 for 4 scale, several small parts were present and tricky to build but being careful enough will avoid some trouble along the way to beginners. The color separation was okay and more better than the high grades. Even the sticker sheet that comes with the kit was better since you will get the water slide decals than the normal sticker foil sheets. Knock marks were not obvious since majority of the parts were undergraded, yet still a proper sanding is needed to remove these imperfections. Look at the face of this thing! For accessories, even Wing Gundam Zero EW has a working real grid hands, it still has close hand manipulator, open hands manipulator, holding hands manipulator, pair of beam sabers, the Twin Buster Rifle, 1 to 1 44 Hero Yuri figure, and a butt plug for the action base. The 1 to 1 44 Hero Yuri figure was nicely detailed for such a small size. Unfortunately, it cannot sit on the wing's cockpit. The two beam sabers can be attached to the holding hands manipulator, and you can store it on the wings when not in use. Same goes for Twin Buster Rifle. You need to use the holding hands manipulator to attach it securely. Head is on ball joint, shoulder have a butterfly swivel, chest cockpit can open, shoulder can rotate 360 degrees, shoulder pad can adjust, double bicep bend and swivel, both hands are on ball joint, RG fingers are on ball joint, the index finger are on ball joint, thumb are on ball joint, waist are on ball joint, side skirts are on ball joint, front and back skirt were also in ball joint, leg can go this far and that far, legs has a limited spread, Double bend at the knee, both feet are in ball joints, ankle armor can swivel, feet can swivel, toe bend, wing can butterfly swivel, and spread, feather swivel, primary wing swivel, another swivel for primary wing, feather swivel, and several feathers on primary wings are on ball joints. The gimmick that this kit has to offer was the iconic Gundam Wing Zero EW pose by covering its body with its wings. It's good that this kit can actually do it much more better than the previous 1 to 144 high grade fighting action Wing Zero, but it's still not perfect as it doesn't clip the wings securely in place. Also, it's kinda bummer that this real grade Gundam Wing Zero EW doesn't have the ability to transform into a near bird mode. Here are the comparison to my other toy collection. 
Lego minifigure, Takara Tommy Pikachu, Jolly Bee Around the World Philippines, Monday Auto Morphin Pink Ranger Flip Head, and to the 1 to 144 High Grade Fighting Action Gundam Wing 080. No matter how bad the story and heroes of the Upper Colony, Wing Gundam Zero will always and forever iconic on 90s kid here in the Philippines. Overall, I will give this audience face reaction. Ganda. The Gundam Wing Zero EW was the most emblematic Gundam here in the Philippines. It is the first Gundam we watch and make our childhood awesome. Feelings aside, this kit may not be as good as the other real grades, but still good to have it on your collection. The two pairs of impractical wings make this back heavy, but proper adjustment and patience are needed to pull out some good poses. Having good aesthetics, better color separation, and good articulation make this kit good rendition of the Gundam Wing Zero EW in 1 to 144 scale. This is my personal review, my own point of view, and see you next time for more!